this is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And this pattern might look familiar because, well, I've played with it before. Um, this is pattern number 7832 over on friendshipbracelets.net. I'm going to copy it, bring it over to this template because this one is like twice the size. And uh, yeah, you may remember, I've already doubled this pattern once before. Um, but I kind of want to do it a different way this time. So let's do that. All right, so we're going to go with this red for our center diamond, right? So that, that's sort of right here, like that. All right, and then I think we're going to change the colors immediately. So that way it sort of makes more sense when I go to make it. So this yellow is going to become this green instead. So that's just sort of goes along the middle like that. So that's one, two, and then out to third. And then it's another diamond. And because this is going to be symmetrical, I only have to fill in part of it. So that's nice. Um, so we got the green again. Does this twice and comes out. It's the red. So you're probably thinking to yourself that it's not, you know, that that much different. It's going to be a lot more different. Trust me. My my intentions with this is the last time I made it, I tried to make the the red like a it, as if it was a flower, right? And then so this green is kind of be like maybe like the flower stalk for all these little red things here. We will get a little partial flower at the end. Okay. Um, so we know that this one's going to be green here and it comes out back. in here like this because I'm changing up the whole outside stuff a lot oh wait that's not gonna go like that it's gonna come out here this way um, I need to kind of work out what the inner part is and then yeah, I don't have to fill in quite so much. This is just going to be up here. And then this is going to come up here. These greens are here. So yeah, this isn't so bad. We're, we're getting somewhere. out I didn't really enjoy this part this little zigzaggy part that like the stem area makes but it's not the worst thing that and then here's the last of the green well at least all that we need to do right so now I want to use our red again and no let's see the halfway point where it is right there right right so halfway point to this one is here so this I 
Maybe the red stays off to the edge? That's fine. So basically, I'm adding in new flowers that are offset from the original. Like I said, doubling it doesn't mean you have to actually do it exactly the same way and flip it. We've already done that before. It was cool. It turned out pretty neat. But I'm thinking this will make it just a little bit more interesting, perhaps. Okay, so now over here, we need a green to sort of work as the stock for this side. that and then the other color over here was a black but I'm thinking um, we filled in everything over here so I can do the select color I can select this and I'm thinking um, it's the sky we're seeing the sky it, you know like if you're taking a picture of vines with flowers on it the sky is the background so paint tool and fill whole selection it's a lot darker the blue than I'm actually going to use, but it definitely illustrates the point. Um, let's put that back before I leave it. Um, back to our layers. We can get rid of that one copy. So now I'm going to select the side that we just filled in, right, using my guidelines. Oh, wait. I got to move this guideline just a bit. Alright, let's try selecting again. If it's not lined up in the middle, it makes the whole center of the bracelet look weird. So, okay, copy and paste our flip tool and flip it to the other side. Then we can anchor that in place and we select the top half to the bottom half and now it should look like there's two well three rows of the flower thing going on and yeah I think by right we can actually even change some of the strings directions in this I might I might play with this a little bit before I make it because as I see this this red can come out to here actually let's just do this with you guys along all right get our paint tool if our blues went this way and our red went this way right a lot easier a little less zigzag so the red coming out here the blue there. All right. Um, the blue here. The red here. Yeah, that's just going to make it so much easier to make this. Honestly, um, it still achieves the same goal. The strings are still getting where they need to go to. They can be exchanged if one's longer than the other. That's just easier. So now to fix all of this, I have to go through the process again of selecting this corner that we fixed. Copy and paste. Flip it to the other side. Anchor it. And then copy the top hat. 
flip that and then anchor it. So yeah, you can see that's just gonna make this a whole lot easier, less zigzags involved. What more could you ask for, right? I mean, seriously, that's awesome. All right, before I go, I wanna thank my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members for making this possible. This one is, this could be like the favorite bracelet of the month already. Um, I definitely like the idea of it sort of resembling something kind of interesting like flowers. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to it. Thanks guys for all of your support. If you wanna join those people, all you gotta do is become a member. The link is down below. All right, thank you guys. And as always, don't get your strings in a bunch.